Now we're going to return back to the process model, the initial process model that was created for our particular project. Our next phase here is going to use and uh, utilize something called an assign statement or assign option. So in the upper right hand corner, as with most of these tools, you have some type of a palette. The palette's going to identify all of the various types of BPEL functions, BPEL activities that you can perform. And what we want to utilize here is something simply called an assign. So I'm going to click on the assign option and I'll drag and I'm going to drop that into my model now. As you come across into the model, you're going to notice a various little circles that are going to pop up, places you can actually drop this particular component in. So right after I do the receive is where I'm going to drop my assign activity here. So my assign activity is going to be plugged in right after the receive. And I'm simply going to double click on this to open up a wizard. The assign statement essentially allows me to go through and create variable assignments. So this particular uh, utility uses a couple of different tabs. I'm going to come to the general tab here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this particular statement a name. And I'm simply going to call this create return string. So we just simply type in the name of our assignment statement. I'm simply going to call it create return string. And go ahead and click on the OK button. Here we see it's going to change that value to create return string at this particular point in time. At this point in time, our variable has an error. So if you look in the upper right hand corner here, you can see a little error window pop up. So usually what's going on with these modeling tools is it's doing continual validation. So it's always looking at what we're doing, just like you can utilize any kind of programming editor. It's always doing continual validation on what's happening with your model here. So let me come back in and open this back up again. You can just click on the error message here and you can see the error message is going to pop up here. It's going to go through the process of doing some validation here and it's going to show me what my, what my error message happens to be. And basically what it's saying right now is I have no copy rules specified. So essentially I've got an assigned statement, but I haven't exactly said what I'm doing the assignment, assignment for. So it doesn't really know what variable is being applied here. So in order for me to uh, fix this particular error message, I'm going to need to do some type of variable assignment. So we can close this out. So our next step is going to be doing a variable assignment to fix this particular problem and uh, take something from the input message and assign it to a local variable so I can use it in the output message.